Hello, I'm George Hayes, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to compile Glue 2.0 with MingGW64. And we're going to go ahead and get started by making sure you have the right MingGW64 installed correctly. So you're going to go to sourceforge.net projects MingGW W64 and download that file here. Okay. I stored mine as far as in my downloads folder and I'm going to run it but I'm not going to go through the complete full install because it would waste a lot of time as far as on this video and I already have it installed. I'll show you the functions that you need to do and then show you where directory I installed mine to. Alright so leave that at 6.20, change that to x86.64 and se is fine and I set my directory to PC C mean GW64. Alright, that's where I've already got my nuts. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And after you have done that, you're going to want to go in here and find this directory here, which has the x86 64 and so forth, and do a copy on that. Then make sure you put that into your system's path. In Windows 10, which I'm using, I can simply edit my path system and click environmental variables and come down here to path and click edit. And I've got it put in right there. All right, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you need to use whatever you need to do to get to that and do the same thing. All right, now. After you're done doing that, you're going to download Glue from glue.sourceforge.net. We're going to take the TGZ file right here. And I created a directory in C. I actually have two, one that's for 32-bit, one that's 64-bit. Glue32 is here, Glue64. And then I used... Uh, in my case 7-zip to unzip it and then unzip the tar again and create, it automatically creates the 2.0 directory by just saying unzip here alright so then I'm using this bat file here to actually build this now I'm gonna go into where the bat file comes from and so forth and I'll tell you where you can get my modified version that does it for 2.0 because the original version will not work for this. Alright, this is the original version which you'll find on the internet on some form or another that somebody had. And basically the way they built it is they understand the compiler like I do and are able to go into the make file and so forth. Or they simply know which ones to include, you know, by look, looking it up. Alright, so they have to write flags and so forth like that now if you take a look this is the new make file which you can find in the config directory under glue in which we were just at this directory right here has all the make files for all the different stuff so compilers and all alright so here we are we have these new ones here and these are because the new compiler has some of the functions built in that used to be in the standard library so there's no need to require the standard library anymore as far as in it so they made changes to leave that out and so the batch file that is here has to be changed to where it looks like this one which is what I created and this one I created for the 64-bit version so I've got a 32-bit and a 64-bit version both of which you can download from my servers all right usually I would have it up on here but I'm remaking this site right now because I have issues and it's because of those issues that I can't upload it on here so I've uploaded it onto my son's server temporarily while I am copying my old server onto a new server and updating everything so you can download at 50.79.245.125 compile.bat alright and if you put the .64 in there you get the 64-bit version 
and it has everything like that now you are wanting to see it run and so what we'll do is go ahead and pull up that directory again of glue so you know I'm at the right one right here and we'll go ahead and bring up command prompt and if you look compile.bat so compile dot just autocomplete 64.bat and we'll go ahead and hit enter and run it it only takes a few seconds but I know I created this video primarily because I noticed somebody else had already had a video up and they were saying glue 2.0 isn't working I've got other videos up before this but here's 2.0 working and it's finished with no errors pretty easy all right now to make use of this let me go and bring this up and uh, Ming GW one at the same time all right now this directory here you're going to want to go into as far as on your Ming GW compiler directory and then come over here to library and copy all these dot a files and the two object files and stick them in this directory when you're done with that take your includes from here go into include and stick them in there all right and that will give you a working system as far as on that for compiling it now when you want to actually run a project you need to make sure this is added into your project folder all right in my case uh, let's take a look at this all right I am running uh, STL 2.0 with glue 2.0 and open GL 3.3 and above and that's as far as how that's so you know it's actually going on there I'll show you it working if yeah here let me go ahead and run it one more time you'll see it's 64 bit then I'll show you how everything is done as far as on that I won't go through the whole thing because that's going to actually be another video all right if you notice here it's 64 bit it doesn't have the 32 bit version on it and when I close it out you'll see it drop off there and it's gone all right so bring that back down now into my projects folder if we take a look uh, we can see my project folder is here under programming SDL 64 and we go ahead and bring this up and programming I think it's SDL tutorials 64 bit and I put my DLLs and stuff like that as far as in here and that's just this is the OGL one so my glue is going to be right in here right there's glue that's this one right now we're looking at go back to look again uh, save project as and see SDL tutorials SDL 64 bit reason all right so that's where that is and as far as I'll give you a quick look at the compiler settings. Uh, basically, what I did is I took the GCC compiler, click copy, created a Ming GW64 compiler, right? Went into toolchain, copied out of that binary uh, directory. All the stuff went for this, made it look just like the GCC, except for it's got the 64 bit versions on there. All right, then you go into your linker settings, and this is what I get for like linker settings here. And then my search directories for the SDL stuff is here. Now the linker settings for my glue is right there. All right, pretty simple. And so that's how I have a working project. And yes, it actually says 32 bit on there because it, I didn't change the names on it. That way I can switch from going back first from 32 to 64 and don't have to make any changes. It's pretty simple. All right, and anyway, I uh, hope you found this video informative and please hit subscribe like if you want and thanks for watching have a great day